Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing something a little bit different. Um, I'm going to be showing you how I created this card using some interesting techniques with um, some alcohol markers and a colourless blender. For the images on this card I'm using the Science of Love stamp set by Lawn Fawn and I thought this would go great with the paper that inspired me for this card which is a piece from um, Doodlebug's Booze and Brews um, paper pad. So I thought these images would go really well with the specific piece of paper that I'm going to be using. And I'm stamping this out using Memento Tuxedo Black Ink as I will be using alcohol markers. Um, for the pro markers I will put a list of all the colours that I've used in the description box below. And I'll have a full list of the supplies on my blog as well. So I'm sticking with three main colour themes, oranges, purples and like an aqua colour. I chose these colours based on the piece of pattern paper that I'm going to be using as well to make sure that it all ties in as one card. Now for the smoke that's coming out of the bottle, um, I'm using the alcohol blender um to mute the colours but it also makes it bleed and fade out um and it also creates this kind of strange smoky illusion um so i jump back between the three shades of um orange and the blender to fade it out and blend it so that it creates this really cool smoke effect and i do this on um all three of them when I'm creating the smoke effect, I'm using random shapes, but I also um, tend to colour in a circle motion with the blender. It creates a bit more texture um, and helps with the overall effect that I was going for. Um, but yeah, I wanted a, an organic kind of feel to this, so I just chose random shapes for the smoke rather than a cloud looking smoke. Once I've finished with the bottles, um, I'm then choosing the paper that I want to use. This is the piece of paper that I originally got the idea to do this card from. Um, it's got loads of cool chemistry bottles and images on it, so I thought it would work really well with that stamp set. So I'm just trimming it down to an A6 size to fit on some craft coloured card stock, um, which I'll be using as my card base. I'm making sure that fits and then I can start to work on the base of my card. I decided to add some shadows underneath the bottles as they did look like they were floating in midair, which could work. Um, but for this I just thought I wanted to fill some more of that white space in and add a bit more interest and depth to the card. So I'm going in with some grey tones and the blender again to feather it out. Um, make it a bit more smooth and hide those harsh lines and you'll see I just keep going backwards and forwards with different colours on that blender the more layers you tend to put on um, the better it blends so it takes a while to work um, but it is worth the patience sentiment on the card I decided to use the we have great chemistry um, from the same stamp kit as the bottles and I'm going to be stamping this onto some vellum and heat embossing this so I'm just trimmed down the vellum and then I can position where I want the sentiment to sit and then I'm going to use my anti-static tool to make sure that the embossing powder doesn't stick where um, I don't want it to 
and then I'm going to use the Versamark embossing ink to um, stamp the sentiment before I use the embossing powder. For the embossing powder I'm going to be using the Paper Mania Copper um, which is a really nice um, colour and I thought it would be a little bit different than silver or white for this card just to add a little bit more interest. One of the ways I like to adhere um, vellum is by wrapping it round a piece of paper or card and then putting the adhesive at the back. Um, a lot of adhesive you can see through vellum so this way it hides any of the uh, sticky glue marks. Um, so all I do is put some adhesive on the back, make sure I've lined it up correctly and fold it round. To stick my image panel to the card I'm using some scotch foam tape um, just to give it a bit more dimension and make it stand out a little bit more from the rest of the card and then I'll adhere the whole card base down with my ATG scotch roller. add some finishing touches to the card I'm using Nouveau Crystal Drops um, to add some little potion bubbles if you like um, and I'm using the Purple Rain which is a glitter drop for the purple test tube I then use the Caribbean Ocean Crystal Drops for the Aqua um, bottle and then I use Ripened Pumpkin Crystal Drops for the orange bottle and I just add these into the smoke to create a bubbly smoking effect. And I think this turned out really well. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.